हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हो यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड ऑल मस्ट बी ईगरली वेटिंग फॉर योर इंग्लिश क्लास आई मिसिस अंजु शर्मा योर इंग्लिश टीचर इज बैक अगेन विद सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर फोर फ्रॉम योर मलबरी बुक चैप्टर फोर मीटिंग मिस ट्रॉटवुड स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैड एक्सप्लेन टू यू द समरी ऑफ चैप्टर फोर विद देयर वर्ड मीनिंग्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट विद द एक्सरसाइजेस लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द एक्सरसाइज वन गिवन ऑन पेज फिफ्टी नाइन making connections question is put a tick against the sentence that are true and a cross against those that are false a david had had a comfortable journey on the way to his aunt's house is this statement right or wrong no this is wrong why because he faced many problems on the way to his aunt's house now come to page 60 b sentence b david was neatly dressed when he introduced himself to his aunt this statement is wrong no his clothes were dirty that time students c david's aunt had never seen david before well this is also wrong she came there when david was born now come to d david's aunt recognized him the moment she saw him at the gate wrong yes this sentence is wrong no she couldn't recognize him that time e david had had an unhappy life up to the time he came to his aunt's house yes she was not happy yes this is correct come to f david did not want to live with the mud stones ever again yes this is true statement g david sant was happy to be david's guardian yes correct she was a kind hearted lady and she ready to be his guardian h exercise at canterbury david sant drove away without looking up because she was glad that david was away at school this statement is wrong his aunt was not happy that time so children see once again i am going to repeat the same exercise a is wrong b wrong c wrong d wrong e right f right g right h wrong so come to next question reference to context on same page page number 60 oh lord said my aunt and sat flat down in the garden path on the basis of this line you have to give the answers question question a where was david answer is 
where was david answer is david was standing next to his aunt in her garden david was standing next to his aunt in her garden b question what was the name of david's aunt the name of david's aunt was miss betsy trotwood what was her name miss betsy trotwood now come to question number c why did david's aunt sit flat down in the garden path answer she did not expect that the dirty boy standing in front of her was her own nephew clear now student come to question number 3 the school i now went to was better in every way than salem house question a which school was better than salem house the school at canterbury was better than salem house answer was the school at canterbury was better than salem house now come to question b who sent david to the better school b answer david sent miss betsy trotwood sent him to the better school question number c where did david board while he was at the better school david stayed with his aunt's old lawyer mr wickfield while he was at canterbury now come to next exercise read reflect and write question number 4 what were the first things that david's aunt made him do answer number 4 david's aunt gave him some tonics then she heated water and made him take a bath after that she gave him a shirt and a pair of trousers belonging to mr dick who was staying with her now come to question number 5 the villain of a story is a character who tries to harm the main character name two villains in this story give reasons stating why you think they are villains answer number 5 mr marston and his sister are the two villains in the story they ill treated david and made him work in a factory instead of sending him to school now come to question number 6 how did david feel when he first went to school at canterbury how did david feel when he first went to school at canterbury how did he feel after two weeks had passed answer number 6 david felt strange when he first went to the school at canterbury because he had not been with companions his own age for a long time two weeks later he had settled down well and was quite happy now come to question number 7 what kind of person was david's aunt give examples from the story to support your opinion answer number 7 david's aunt was a good kind 
and strong person. She took him under her care and stood up for him against the mud stones. She sent him to a good school and made sure he had comfortable living quarters at her lawyer's house. Well, now students, come to page number 61. Word wall. Antonym crossword. Question I am going to read. The clues given below are antonyms of words from the text. Follow the example and use the clues to fill in the crossword. Words are given here. And antonyms I will tell you. And students fill the antonyms in the puzzle also. Here in your book on page number 61. Puzzle is given here. Fill the antonyms in the puzzle also. First word is noisy. The antonym of noise is quiet. Number two, cheerfully, sadly. Number three, slowly, hastily. Number four, clean, strained. Number five, familiar, strange. Number six, nothing, everything. Number seven, cooled, heated. Number eight, very simple, kind. What is the antonym of kind? Cruel. Opposite of kind, cruel. Number nine, worse, better. And number ten, also very easy, True, false. So, come to question number 2, set exercise 2 on same page. Choose any 5 words from the crossword that you solved and make sentences of your own with them. You have to make 5 sentences. But remember, with your antonyms. From your puzzle you can take the word and make sentences. So students, first I will take better. Sentence, something is better than nothing. Number two, everything. Sentence, everything needs to be solved. Number three, cruel. Sentence, Hitler was very cruel leader. Very simple sentences are there. Number four, stained. Sentences, her claws were stained with dirty spots. And number five, strange. It was very strange meeting him today. So students, Please see page number 62, grammar time. Perfect tense, present perfect and past perfect. Present perfect tense is a sort of mixture of present and past. It can be seen as a present tense which looks backwards into past. I have been in school since June shows a connection between the past and the present. It means I am still in the school which is present time and I have been here starting from June. June is now in the past time. Present perfect tenses used to describe an action or events beginning in the past and 
continuing up to the present moment. So, present perfect tense means that an action was completed in the past and the same action still has an effect in the present. So, students, see page 62. Read these sentences. I have walked all the way. In this sentence, action is completed in a way, but its impact is still in the present. One thing remember children, in present tense, we always use has and have plus past participle, verbs third form, has have plus Verbs third form past participle. So this example I have explained you already. I have walked all the way. In this sentence action is completed in a way but its impact is still in the present. Number two. I have not slept in bed since I began the journey. Here the journey is not completed. In the action continues in the present also. Now come to sentence number 3. David has come to meet his aunt that he started from his place to reach his aunt's house. Means he started his journey in the past but <coughs> sorry. Its impact is visible in the present also. In the form of reaching his aunt's house. In these sentences, have walked, have slept and has come are verbs. Now, see read the table below to see how we use the present perfect tense. We use the present perfect tense for an action that has just happened. Means any action or any task which has just finished. For example, I have just read a story written by Charles Dickens. Here, the subject has completed the reading of the book. Next example, David has just arrived. Here, David has, has just come means the action has just happened. Next is for an experience. We use present perfect for describing the experience. For example, our teacher has read many books. Means, the teacher has read so many books over a period of time, it shows her life experience. For example, I have travelled by train. It also tells us about the experience of the subject who has travelled by train. Next, to show a change. The third point where present perfect tense is used to show a change. For example, I have finished my work here. In this sentence, the subject had not finished the work earlier but now he has. I have finished my work here in this sentence. The subject had not finished the work earlier but now he has. Example, the paint on my picture has dried. 
Now in this sentence, the paint on the picture was wet a short while ago, but now it has dried up, which means it is no longer wet. Next, come to fourth, for an action that started in the past and still continues. The fourth point where present perfect tense is used is for an action that started in the past and still continues. Now I will give you an example where the action started in the past and continue in the present. Example, I have studied in this school for five years, which means that I took admission in the school five years ago and I am still a part of it. Students, now see page number 63. Let us read these sentences aloud to practice the structure of sentence in the present perfect tense. I have painted Lots of pictures. I, here I is pronoun, have helping verb, painted main verb. Lots of pictures. Second, you have won the match. You, here pronoun, have helping verb, won, main verb, the match. Rest of the sentence. You have won the match. She or he has not read this book. He has not read this book. He or she is pronoun here. Has is again helping verb. Not. Main verb is read this book. He has not read this book or she has not read this book. Next is we have not been to France. We here pronoun. Have helping verb not main verb is been to France. We have not been to France. Same way I think these are interrogative sentences. Here. Have you won the match? Have. Here the helping verb. Pronoun you. Main verb won the match. Have you won the match? Interrogation, interrogative sentence. Has she not read the book? Has she not read the book? Has here helping verb. She or he pronoun not read is main verb. The book rest of the sentence. Has she not read the book? Verbs have more than one form. For the present perfect tense, we use the past participle of the main verb. Now I am going to read this table. Base form of the verb, then past form of the verb, then past participle form. Eat, ate, eaten. Eat, Eight, eaten. Read along with me. Eat, ate, eaten. Draw, drew, drawn. Draw, drew, drawn. Read, read, read. Students, here the spellings are same but the pronunciation is different. Read, R E A D, read. R-E-A-D, read, R-E-A-D, read, 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 read. Choose, chose, chosen. Choose, chose, chosen. Hurt, hurt, hurt. The spelling and the pronunciation is same. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Fly, flew, flown. Fly, Flu, flaw.
Now fill in the blanks using the present perfect form of the verb given in the brackets. Next exercise. Fill in the blanks using the present perfect forms of the verbs given in the bracket. My grandparents dash just dash and verb is given here arrive. So student, my grandparents plural with plural we use have singular has here it is plural my grandparents have just now arrive verb is given here but we have to use past participle arrived my grandparents have just arrived b i cannot play this weekend because i dash hurt my leg i with i we use have, not has. I cannot play this weekend because I have hurt. Past, past, sorry, past participle also, same spelling, same pronunciation. I cannot play this weekend because I have hurt my leg. C. We dash live in this house for 10 years. We have. We have lived. Past participle, live, lived, lived. We have lived in this house for 10 years. D, N, A, dash, not, dash, meet my friends yet. I'll introduce her. N, A, has. Why has has come here? Because it is singular. Name is given here. N, A, has not, meet, met, met. Past participle is met. Any has not met my friends yet. I'll introduce her. E dash he dash complete the project. Interrogative sentence. He is given here with he we use has. Singular. Has he complete, complete, completed, completed. Has he completed the project? Well, student, I think this exercise also clear to you. Now read this sentence. Next, same page, 63 page. Now read this sentence. The mud stones had ill-treated David. So, Miss Trotwood scolded them. In the sentence, had ill-treated and scolded are the Verbs. Both verbs are in the past but had ill treated is in the past perfect tense because the mud stones had ill treated David before Miss Trotwood scolded them. Had is here so this is past perfect tense. When two actions happen in the past and we want to show which action first, which action happened first, we use the past perfect tense. Here, read these sentences. Read these sentences. The bus had left by the time he arrived. Here, present and past. See this. The bus had left by the time he arrived. The bus had left. Past. The time he arrived. This is present. We had planted the trees when the train started. We had planted the trees. Past tense. When the rain started. This is present tense. Means in present, sorry, in past perfect tense, we use had plus past participle, third form of the verb. Now see this table also, I am going to explain you. I had read the book that he gave me. I, helping verb, had. 
read the book that he gave me past perfect tense he had made dinner before the guests arrived they had practiced before the match started this is also same past perfect tense here had is the helping verb and main verb is given here and rest of the sentence we had not seen him before he came here we pronoun here had main verb oh, sorry helping verb main verb is seen and rest of the sentence him before he came here we had not seen him before he came here see now come to in the sentence exercise 2 in the sentence given below underline the action that had happened first when i woke up this morning grandfather had made breakfast in this exercise there are two actions happening in the sentence we have to see which one happened first when i woke up this morning grandfather had made breakfast means that means before i woke up the breakfast was ready so the first action is grandfather had made breakfast underline this grandfather had made breakfast this action happened first now come to b the dog had torn the newspaper before grandmother could get it it says that before the grandmother could take the newspaper in her hand the dog had already torn it thus the first action is the dog had torn the newspaper clear now come to sentence c the train had pulled out of the station by the time we reached the platform before we could reach the platform the train had left so the first action in the sentence is the train had pulled out of the station d i had finished my homework when my friends arrived the fourth point i had finished my homework when my friends arrived i had finished my homework this action happened first now see the next i think this exercise also clear to you now come to question exercise 3 be a perfect detective spot the mistake and correct them a i have eight lots of cookies i have eight lots of cookies which tense is this have present perfect tense why because have is given here but the mistake is here the verb is wrong eight eat eight eaten and in present perfect or past perfect in both we use past participial form so i have in the place of it eaten e a t e n i have eaten lots of cookies next is b x b sentence he didn't come with us for the film because he had already saw it which tense is here had is had is here so this is past perfect tense he didn't come with us for the film because he had already 
in the place of saw seen because he had already seen it see saw seen second form is given here this is wrong in the place of saw you write students here seen next is c we have just finished our work we have have present perfect tense we have just in the place of finish what will come yes finished we have just finished our work f i n i s h e d d as soon as she had did her homework she went to bed had is given here past perfect tense so in the place of did as soon as she had do did done d second form na we have to fill here right here third form done as soon as she had done her homework she went to bed e tom was thirsty because he hadn't drink water all morning hadn't had is there again which tense is this past perfect so in the place of drink we have to write here we should write here past participle tom was thirsty because he hadn't drunk water all morning so students i have made you understand all the exercises of chapter 4 all the exercises related to this chapter you will get in pdf form in your whatsapp group also but one thing listen carefully question answers and make sentences you do in your mulberry notebook rest of the exercises do in your mulberry book question answer and make sentences in your mulberry notebook mulberry copy rest of the exercises do in your mulberry book fill the book fill next is fill the antonyms in the puzzle given on page 61 puzzle is given here you fill the antonyms there clear okay students now i conclude my today's lecture here stay home stay safe study well bye